being. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. What is the Bohemian Grove? Well, it's a kind of summer camp for the powerful. Among its members, political figures like Gerald Ford, President Reagan, Vice President Bush, Richard Nixon is a Bohemian. Each year, guests like Henry Kissinger or Zbigniew Brzezinski address members on their areas of expertise. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine by the military-industrial complex. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. The quest for the new world order is in part a challenge to keep the dangers of disorder at bay. We were interested today to hear that more than a hundred law enforcement officials in Mexico are having microchips implanted in their arms. The chips allow a person to be scanned, sort of like a cereal box at the supermarket checkout. What do you think the most important thing is for Barack Obama? I think his task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. I think the new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. But the burdens of global citizenship continue to bind us together. In this new century, Americans and Europeans alike will be required to do more, not less. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. You know, there is such a thing as insidious influence. Does it involve bribery? I mean, does it involve some sort of psychological domination of individuals? But what does a new world order mean for countries like ours? A new world order? No world order that elevates one nation or group of people over another will succeed. It was a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. The whole concept of new world order is something else. It really says that the state is God. You take the roots of that organization and you find out that they created in all of the British dependencies uh, what they call round table groups. Then around those little round table groups they created front groups. We're getting to two levels of government here. One level of government where we have checks and balances and a higher level of COG government where the constitutional authorities are not allowed to go. The New World Order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. This is the third leg of the New World Order.
But I, I say to you something that none ever said before. Legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us.